Haugen, you've just introduced yourself. My name is Bob Haugen. Um, I've written 13, 15 books in, on the stock market. I've held three endowed chairs at three major universities. I've recently been ranked 17th, the 17th most prolific researcher in the history of finance. Um, I do quantitative investing. I've got a, a firm called Haugen Custom Financial Systems. And what we do is basically estimate expected returns on about 7,000 stocks worldwide, individually. And then we license our expectations to clients. In terms of trends in the quantitative field, the one I find most interesting is the trend toward low volatility investing. I've been, I gave about 60 speeches last year in Asia and Europe, and most of them, if not all of them, were about that. Uh, more and more companies are getting into that area. You don't need an expected return model to do that. What you need is an optimizer to take you to the lowest volatility portfolio that can be achieved um, with certain constraints on investment like sector constraints, no short selling and things like that. There are about seven or eight companies out there now that are selling that product and it's growing more and more and the interest of the consulting market, for example, is really hot. So that, in my opinion, is the hottest thing going on in the quant field today. Fantastic. And uh, why have you come to Chicago today? I came to speak for the uh, Quant Invest conference, conference and I had a good time doing it as well. Fantastic. And uh, what do you see in terms of um, the differences uh, in terms of the quant market in uh, the North America as opposed to Europe as opposed to Asia? <clears throat> North America is leading in my opinion but uh, the Asians and the Europeans are quite excited about low volatility investing. I work with BNP Paribas, the big bank in Paris, and they just uh, at the end of April re released a new low volatility fund. Um, so they are sponsoring me, sending me to various places to talk about that. Fantastic. And I'm the one that discovered the anomaly back in 1969. <clears throat> a fellow uh, named Jim Hines and myself did a study, and lo and behold, there it was. Risk and return were upside down from 1926 through 1970. And uh, I say 70 when we discovered it in 69 because we added some years onto the study. We had a very difficult time getting that paper published because it was so controversial. But we finally did. It was published in the Journal of Financial and Quantitative Analysis in 1973. Great. And during the sessions uh, at the conference, has there been anything um, of, of note or interesting that you've heard uh, so far today? Well, I like uh, this, the uh, discussions and defense of high-frequency trading. I thought that was good. This last uh, uh, discussion on... Uh, the nature of volumes in the various markets at different times of the day, I thought that was pretty interesting too. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Dr. Hallam. Sure.